I'm assuming that you're also going to be using headphones, though, along with that. Unless you're just going to have, like, a really strong, um... What is that? Noise gateway. My brain, like, stopped for a second, like, what was I trying to... Man, I went through everything in that last scenario. Holy shit. I forgot how, like, dragged out that was. <laughs> I need to start selling these unopened drinks. In fact, if anything, I should probably just buy more stuff in general. So we're gonna we're gonna do some maintenance real quick. I need to go through my weapons, but more importantly, uh, these need to go because there's too many of them. How little they restore on our like higher up dudes. Garlic water is kind of okay. Like I use these for um, item world for our lower level guys, but like, yeah, we literally have like two barbecue sauces, and I don't want to touch these too much. So, oh shit, I fucked up. Nope, I'm in here. That. I wish it shifted like this in your item menu when you're selling. Maybe it's just to make sure that you don't go through things too fast. Uh, dimensional caves might be okay for some of those guys. I see some more item world in my future once we're done here. Boy, does that replenish it? By the way, if I just like, yeah, give me. Okay. Oh shit, did I buy these on accident? Hmm. I might have. Got some yam starches in there too though. Ching Han we're gonna keep just in case we see something particularly tempting. But these chocolates are still a little too expensive for like what we have in terms of health pool. Which may be good or bad, depending on what the next scenarios are going to be like. Is it worth, like, messing with these? Like, it looks like it's got an extra amount of people in there that we can get. I don't know. Barbecue sauce, just in case. I will take both of them. And, uh, extra garlic water. It might be too much garlic water. Taiyaki is still a good one for us. The chocolate's just for the sake of going fuck it in some situations. I think everyone's healed up. I think. Yeah. Okay. Those giant unidentified objects are in Stellar Graveyard too. Yeah, I don't think we started the next scenario. We had detected giant objects in the Stellar Graveyard too. I feel a great power, Prince. Be careful. There is no power greater than mine. Just relax and wait for my return. She's such a mother hen. I like the gatekeeper. Sound and audio pegs are separate and sting. Unlike the laptop, where. Except they're both in a single socket. Ah, okay. Embryon. Look at these dudes! <laughs> Why do they look so goobery compared to the other guys? Soldiers of the EDF! Yo, do they count as monsters? I told you, Jennifer, just like I said. Hmm. Hmm. I've never seen so many humans all at once. So, what'd they come all the way here for? Conquest. Aren't they here to rescue Mr. Gordon? Who 
Don't you think they're acting kind of strange, though? Yeah, it's a little weird, huh? What's wrong? Your beloved hero is right here! Hey, guys! It's me, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Not very popular, are you? Oof. Poor Mr. Gordon. D don't be silly. I'm the Defender of Earth. All the kids love me. I had my own comic series and Saturday morning cartoon. But they don't seem all that impressed. Hmm. Gordon, we've been used. Used? What do you mean, Jennifer? They asked us to defeat the Overlord, but their true purpose was to secure a route to the Netherworld. What are you saying, Jennifer? They are risking their lives to save us. How could you accuse them of... But, Gordon, can't you see? Enough of this. I don't want to hear it. I'm shocked and disappointed in you. I hereby dismiss you from your duties as my assistant. Wow. I see. I must have faith in the people of Earth. Unfaltering, unwavering faith. Is he about to get killed? It's my duty as defender of Earth. Right, guys? Captain Gordon, defender of Earth. You are to be terminated. Oof. What? Sucks to be you. All the kids love me, huh? Right. Poor Mr. Gordon. <laughs> Hey, wait! What are you doing? Well, damn. So what's the deal with these guys? Zeolite. Ooh, and they're probably all ranged, huh? Yep. That's a different gun, too. RQ-57 Dragon. That sucks. They're actually pretty well-rounded in terms of attack and defense, and that hit is insane. Recruit officer. Are there any other officers or is it just the one? I think it might just be the one back here. 631, RQ66 Saint. Hmm. And these tiles. Don't do anything? Hmm. Can they do something? All the water is ally damage. So it's, we can walk on it, but it's not a good idea. That being said, where is that? It's way back here. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything to replace it with. This is where having a bunch of, uh, ranged units probably would have been for the best. Oh dear. You can't reach from there. Hmm. Hmm, so how should we go about this then? Put Yeet out. Have him throw somebody, maybe. Uh, who's a good somebody to have out there, though? Because there's nothing that's keeping them in these spots. They can pretty much just move wherever they want. And in particular, they seem to have a decent amount of movement. Especially since they actually have ranged weapons. Oh, this is yeet you into the great unknown, right? Hmm, that's a little risky. I don't know if he can jump from there. He might be able to, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
back off. Plenaire is gonna have her work cut out for her today. Oh boy. Where is Lenny? Scarier thing is, I don't know how hard they're gonna slap. They have no special techniques, which is our bigger saving grace in this situation. But they have so much hit that it might not matter, depending on what they hit for. On these guys. Put our range guys up. Let's start. Also, Thursday, just because Thursday's beefy as fuck. In fact, these guys don't have techniques, but that doesn't mean that the officer doesn't. Oh, it, it is exactly what it means, actually. <laughs> it also does not have techniques. Well then. Let's see what these guys are going to do, in terms of damage. Laharl's going to get hit a lot, but... A swath of them did bunch up. The shittier thing is when they land in the goop. Can't do a lot about that. Hmm. Attack zone obstructed? Oh, Medeiros is in the way, I think. I don't know if moving him is actually gonna help. Depending here. Are you next to him? Can you get him? And does that free you up to do this? Actually, it does. Yeah, let's see. Whoosh! Fuck this dude. After a whole lot. Here I come. The bib. Also not for a whole lot. Yeah, that defense is not great. Uh. Stay there. Not a whole lot. Okay. Uh, yeet. I'm gonna eat you over here. Oh shit. The Harl's not hurt, but he sure is. Hmm, you're paralyzed on the spot, huh?
that other guy that we hurt earlier is actually down there, yeah. Oh, that's on dead at least. Are you lined up right now? might die trying to do this, but I need her to hold that line, especially since she's stuck right now. Hmm. Ah, Lenny. Yeah, I figured Lenny would die. Unfortunately, Hilda might die. No, he shot Yeet. That dude shot yeet. What a bitch, but also good. the other issue about them being all, um... All over the place like this, or the fact that they're ranged, they can just kind of be wherever they want. They're not gonna bunch up like melee units usually do. Time for that to not be leveled up a lot. Uh.
Yeah, I kind of figured. That sucks. At least these two can gang up on this asshole. Oop. Ooh, that counter though. Kinda nasty. Yeah, losing Lenny and Yeet. Not great. Kinda can't get those slots back. That's why you try to be more thorough, I guess. So surely that'll finish that guy? Um Okay, good. I still can't believe Etna's fucking attacked it. He was literally on a sliver. Ugh. So dumb. But yeah, if Thursday is gonna go down, then he might as well go down during an attack. Before the panel even took care of him. Can I get around it on there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I have enough for another? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh. Can I just do an impale? See where that leaves these guys. Alright, he's dead. This dude's like on a sliver, and you can finally move, but you're also on the verge of death. Fuck, dude. There. Slayer, maybe? No. Sucks, because that would cover it, but I don't have enough space. Unless I get in there. Uh. Overlord's Wrath? Might get a couple. I'd have to reposition myself a little here. Maybe here? Mm. 
Yeah, there's no real good way to get both of them, huh? Okay, hold on. Because I don't think I can reach you here. Yeah. Yeah, nets are relatively cheap, too. We'll do that. Instead. And then we can actually... Well, I say we can actually, I don't know if we can. Oh shit, that's right, she already did her action. Uh, whoopsie. He already did his. I don't know where I want him, though. We could just hang out with her. Eh, that's fine. I'll figure out something between these two to get that guy. Uh, uh, uh. Can you try burst? Because I don't want you getting back up. On who? On Laharl? Yeah, it's the two-pronged blade. Unless you're talking about, like, Etna. In which case, vile brilliance. Such an edgy name. Did this motherfucker not die? Wow. Your gun stuff sucks, dude. Yeah. After some healing, though, we should be okay. Unless something happens. Oh my god. Stuff like that doesn't tend to happen, but you never know. But what I was originally gonna do, and actually we can't, is it considers that to be obstructed. He should be done. There's no way. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you got that scenario done. 2500 extra XP too. Hmm. Why would the EDF attack me? Duh! They stabbed you in the back! You're slow! Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. Hmm. Ah, Gordon! I see that you're still alive. What? <laughs> With your help securing a route, we were able to make it here unchallenged. And uh, now, the Netherworld will be ours. Conquest. I thank you, defenders of Earth. <laughs> oh my god! We were being used? Um, are you just realizing that now? Aren't you happy, Flan? There's someone even dumber than you! Uh. <laughs> I knew of their plan all along! I'm sure you did. Liar! Gordon, you were a splendid pawn. I will tell the people of Earth that Captain Gordon died valiantly. While fighting the Overlord. It's the least I can do for you. Well then, Gordon. So long. <laughs> hmm. There are some promising humans out there. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try to recruit him? Will you stop joking around? This is a serious matter! J Jennifer? She's probably hurt because you trusted them instead of her. Oh well, it's none of my business. Didn't you dismiss her just a minute ago, Gordon? Oh, poor Miss Jennifer. Uh, 
Jennifer, about that dismissal... It's okay, Gordon. I deserve to be dismissed. Jennifer... Thursday, not the one to blame. All Gordon's fault. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. No one's taking the blame on that one. Not today. Pravda necklace? God damn, look at those stat boosts. A nice bit of accessory, huh? What do you have on? Yeah, I guess we can get rid of that. All full of heart. <laughs> oh my god, he's breached a thousand and just clear out. She actually has the improved one that we did for the Imperial Seal. I forgot that I had orbs on her for days, Jesus. Alright, well that's the bigger switch off for now. Magic Huff still our top end for melee in terms of hand to hand. Two prong. I thought we had one that was past two prong. Or maybe we did earlier and we just don't right now. I wonder when we're gonna get those um those guns that those officers and um recruits are rocking. Spike shells are actually looking better now. Got other stuff on them now. Cool. Yeah, this one in particular is pretty nice. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, wait, stop. Eh, I can sell it. At this. That. Out. <laughs> Overfang. It's actually not as good. By like only a little bit, too. Oh, that's a good jump for him, though. Hell yeah. Yes. Let's pass it all on down. Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
gonna be a little while till our next prize pops up though. We're getting up there. At least in terms of like a first playthrough, I'd figure. Uh well, let's move on. Jeez. Long time no see, Gordon. So, Who's there? So this is the other defender of Earth. He's got rocket boots. Curtis? That's right, Curtis, defender of Earth. Every time they do that, I think they're gonna transform, and they don't. How cool! A rival has made his appearance. Look, look. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. My goal was to defeat you, Gordon, but it seems I've overestimated. You. Huh? What do you mean? I assumed that you had completed your mission and defeated the Overlord. I came here to settle things with you. But look at the facts. You failed your mission, and even worse, you've become the Overlord's slave. I'm embarrassed to call you my rival. Damn. He's right. That is embarrassing. <clears throat> You don't have the right to call yourself Defender of Earth, nor the right to fight me. So long. He just leaves? Wow. Curtis, wait. You're right. I didn't complete my mission. And in your eyes, it may seem that my current predicament is rather pathetic. What's he talking about? It is pathetic. Shh. It's getting good. But, but, I say, I have not lost my passion. I still have a hero's spirit. Words cannot describe the sensation. My soul burns brighter than ever before. And do you know why? Because the true enemy has appeared before my very eyes. Fine, then. If you insist, prove me wrong. Oh, more of these guys. Cool. This is just a show to flaunt, <laughs> exactly. There's an angel just an angel looking down on human things. I'll be waiting for you, Captain Gordon. She's just here to observe. Don't lose to these bunch of soldiers. <laughs> this is little rocket shoes. Oh my god. These are all silence tiles? Fuck. And this time around, they're using Oh god, look at those axes. 528 on the attack. Woo. And of course their resistance is low as fuck. The question becomes, where the hell is that uh... Oh my god! So there's a shit ton of ally damage. Ally damage 100%. Literally if you hit if you hit the water, you're dead. And the Geo symbol's way over here. Huh. Do I want to know why that interests you or not? Also, it's gone on Asian. Welcome back. Hmm. It's got a good amount of health, too. We can just eat it. There's nothing to stop us from lifting it, so. Yep. I seen them. I sure did. Can any of you guys reach me out for rip? At least not to the panel for that guy? He's pretty close, but not close enough.
A little scary because I think he's gonna get fucking murdered here. And Lenny for sure is gonna die. Um, I think we can get Yeet back in the box. And then the rest are just gonna have to take on from there. See what they do. I want them to bunch up more too. Oh god! Oh! Ow! Fuck! Who oh, yet? Yeah. Well, he's he's doing bread though. Get in there! Get back in the box, eat! I can see how they're very, um, MSV. They definitely took a lot of time to, like, mess with those designs. Also, I see my... It seems my... Dumb, they have a Gundam variant that uses the heart of the cards. <laughs> That's a good way to do this. Ugh. Maybe from here? No. Look. That would have been nice, but not far enough. I don't know if it's worth trying to take these out, though. We could, though. Really? Height problem? It's a fucking projectile. Ugh. So dumb. 
Holy fucking card. Artifact slayers that can use ornaments from all generations by using cards. What the f- Okay. Alright, you, you lost me on that one. <laughs> what the fuck? That's goofy as hell. It does feel like they kind of just like... Didn't give as much of a fuck. They just wanted to do whatever they wanted with them. Um, with age. gonna hit Thursday. Put me further out. He should be able to weather it, but mm. there's no real good spot to have like Will that even let me put it here ahead of time? No. You just need to chill there. Okay. That kinda sucks. First Glanza and a Razor's concept high speeds using power and inertia. Hmm. Instead of thrusters, what? <laughs> Just juts itself forward <laughs> a million times, huh? Actually, Thursday might get bodied. Ouch, he actually got hit harder than I thought he would. That sucks. I might use his... his thing to actually give him something to heal with. Live Thursday! Okay. Boost and use the weight <laughs> to just like swing itself around. Actually, one thing I didn't think about, what do these guys have? Oh, so they're sitting up here. These two have guns, so if we get too close, they're gonna fire at this from the center. Okay. So eventually we gotta deal with them. And that's gonna be its own... its own issue. Like, honestly, besides using range units, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to do that. Is he trapped? He might be trapped. Uh oh.
these guys up. Yeah. No such spots. Oh, I'm like one off from using Bullet Storm. Man, okay. Oh, actually, you know what I can do. <laughs> Hold on. Bip, bip, bip. Yeah, them be uh, the brakes. I haven't really picked up anything from the uh, summer sale itself yet. I might put you back. You're gonna get beat up too easy. They don't have a lot of resist, but I don't know if she can kill them in one. That's Kind of the scary part. I mean, Nintendo games tend to have a pretty good amount of staying power. Oh my god, Thursday got fucking mashed up. I think I made all my units swords sort of masters and fates. Huh. I actually never um picked fates. I did um awakening and some of the older GBA stuff. I never did fates. I wanna do three houses. But I don't got a switch. Yeah, two. Wow. When you let the hole in one, you buy after the windows in Hawaii. I see.
more night, actually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they'll either eat it out or break it somehow. I wouldn't really trust anyone with my stuff either. I just want to lead that guy there. <laughs> Ugh, well there goes Madeiras. Fuck. And there goes Hilda, because Madeiras died. Fucking shit. Hmm, I probably should have matched him closer instead. Target height problem. How am I gonna get these guys then? Can I even grab them from here? I don't think so. The only thing I can think is either Planair or... Or Megamine. It's a cast on him. Come back and it's gone. Oof. How far does that reach, though? Twenty-three versus Bullstorm being forty-two. In the meantime, I gotta take out these two. And he's just wedged in there because I threw him over there. That's a little awkward.
There we go. Let's see, can they hit back? Yeah. That's a little rough then. But I think in like maybe one more turn he should be dead. And I just lifted his buddy up there. Instead, he can't reach. one. All right, so they're taken care of. Good. You can go back and get the power of Lerve. She might as well grind that up. So she should be all the way up? Yeah, she's good. What are you gonna do? Nearly get yourself killed! That works. Kinda don't want him to die though. It's not yet. I mean, pretty much. I don't have it memorized, so you're kind of on your own on that one. But yeah, they're pretty- they're literally called the EDF in this, so... What's going on, Draven? It's just this guy left. Yep. At least trying to, anyway. These scenarios haven't been too bad today. I kind of put myself in a predicament here, though, because all of this right here, right now, is 80% ally damage. So if I stay in there for two turns, I'm going to die. I threw him on one, because he used to be 100%. But, uh, I'm having to pick at him from range <laughs> to finish him off. Yeah, I, I'd rather him just get out of there. That way he can come here and get hit. Or he can just die now. Cool. 
Okay. Bat soup. Oh boy. Surely a favorite. The best. Did we use too many items on this? I only have one slot left. Okay. Well, let's go buy some more healing. What do we got? Ooh, Yam Search. Very good. Actually, not a whole lot in terms of healing. These are really low for us now. An underworld delicacy. Oh god. Well, it re recovers a good amount for HP and SP, so... Probably be sitting on that. That also boosts our attack, which is nuts. Okay. So yeah, the angels are behind the EDF zone. So sudden push towards the netherworld, by the way. Dance for me, you foolish humans. You'll save me the trouble of dealing with both Flan and the Overlord. Ingenious if I do say so myself. All that remains is that spineless Seraph. Once I get rid of him, I will be the one and only. Humans, demons, angels, I will be the god of all! Oh boy. What's wrong? You're acting weird. I felt an evil presence. Was it General Carter? Or maybe Curtis? No, it wasn't human. Something more terrifying. It's hard to believe that there's something more evil than me. You sure you're not imagining things? Maybe it's just me. Hmm. I forget when we run into them. Or if we, um... Because I know eventually we do fight him. But I don't think it's in this scenario. It might be in the next chapter. We'll see. Oh boy. So yeah, these guys got guns. This is a another different gun. LTD 52 or Huh. There's a good amount of them too. And these are all ally damage 20. But invincibility? Oh boy. So we're slowly gonna die, but they can't hurt us. <laughs> and we can't hurt them. And all the panels are way back here. Holy shit. So the water, instead, instead of doing ally damage, does enemy boost. So anything that steps on here with us will hit the dog shit out of us. And that enemy boost is right here. And if we hit that, because it's a different color, it'll actually shift and damage anything on the panels. These won't. And we'd literally have to... Probably go for the ally damage first and then just throw it at something or throw it off this panel. Like down into the water. Uh hmm. This all around just is messy. <laughs> I don't like it. And right out of the gate, they're actually blocking the portal. It's the first time they've been like right on top of it. So he can go around and pass them. But if he goes down, most of them can probably reach him. Yeah. Like he might not be able to. But that first one will and he'll hit him really hard. I think... Yeah, they still don't have techniques. Which is good. It's just all this panel bullshit we gotta deal with. Hmm. Not great.
So there's a couple possibilities here, I guess. We just start yeeting them and make our way all the way over there. Get rid of the ally damage. Maybe try to hit that panel down there for the water. And then we just position ourselves in a good spot before we take out the invincibility. But in the meantime, anyone we leave behind either has to go back in the box or has to follow us um, along with the healer because that damage is going to happen despite the invincibility. That's just for other enemies hitting us. That's all that's really going to do for us. If we can... Hmm. I'll look at that in a sec then. Uh... Oh, there's nothing in line with that. That sucks. I could throw him on this and have that go off. But none of them are... In proximity to be thrown on that right off the bat. Hmm. Maybe once they start to move, we still got a ways to go regardless. Uh, so that being said, uh, Hilda's gonna have to be in here doing some stuff. Doesn't have to do anything this turn, but once things start to get going. She's gonna have to start healing people. Keep them alive unless we just put them back. Which we could! In fact, what, what might be a better idea... Lenny! Do you lift from there? Throw this man! Woo! Ah, you know what? I shouldn't have had her come out first. I didn't think about that. I'll have Flan come out and do like a heal on her and then just like sit there for a sec. These guys are all just gonna be dragging along. Well, Harl is pretty much as close as he's gonna get until the next turn. Okay, let's see what happens. Our one saving grace is that these guys don't know how to throw people, they just attack. Because if they could throw us on those 50%, that would so. <laughs> that would super suck. Oh my god. But yeah, see, it still hurts us. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Probably just be easier to put you back in and then... Hmm... How much is that gonna do though? We'll see. Cause I wanna put Yeet back inside. He doesn't really need to be here. There you go. Lanier's gonna have some shit to do later. 
Can you reach him from here? No. Okay. You might as well start making the run back. That way we can have that slot for something else later. The only guy that would have ever been affected by that. But now that's settled. That's all red! Which means it has the same effect now. But... Since I'm able to line up the ally damage on somebody, in fact, if he stays there, or if he gets close to us, he he's gonna be a good target for that. Okay. That sounds like the plan. Eh. Oh my god! It's Captain Chad! Coming in with the raid, thank you very much, sir. Doing some Jedi Fallen Order, huh? Okay. Yep, yeah, much appreciated. Welcome, Raiders. Playing some Disgaea here. Okay. Situate ourselves here a little bit. Hey, and with that tier one sub, appreciate it, sir. It's been going alright. Matches in GBO2 were pretty good. Give us in Disgaea, because it took us a hot minute to actually finish all that up. Ending on a win and all that. Hi. But hopefully your time in, um... Fall in order. The yeah, another win take some time tonight, yeah. Mostly the crates took some time. Um, the drop rates, even with that guaranteed stuff, have been a little a little on the low side these last couple days. You know what? That's a good point, too. They have all this SP for shit, because they actually have techniques this time. Uh, let's see here. Is this the right one? Alley damage, yeah. They're down there. Can you reach him? Just throw it on one of these assholes. Here, have that. There you go. <laughs> We'll keep the invincibility one on for now, because some of these guys actually have abilities that they're using here. Or at least it looked like one of them did. Was he just the one that had it and no one else does? Yeah, maybe so. No, it's just them doing combos. Okay. That explains that. That makes more sense. Let's get Lenny back in the back in the box. Put you back inside too. So, hmm. Yeah, next turn. Next turn, we're gonna have to get started here. So these panels, that one that I just threw on that guy, was making it so that we were taking like 20% damage each turn. 
But this one, in particular, means that anything standing on the red panels that it's actually associated with is invincible. You can't hurt each other when you're on this. And we actually made the entire field that way when we killed another panel here that changed these from green to red. But I can yeet this onto someone's head and then that'll negate the effect and then we'll just be a free-for-all essentially after that. Had someone come in and spoil the end. Oh my god. But I sort of figured something like it anyways. Yeah, was it um Iron Giant had someone spoil The Last of Us for them the other day. Gotta love gotta love the internet, right? Actually I want him starting out fresh. No, he did Boulder Crush. He does have techniques, what the fuck? Why are you different from the other ones? It's the officer. Is he the only officer then? Hmm. I kinda want him to blow through his SP then. He's gonna do that shit. Is he the only officer though? I guess. I could swear he didn't even have anything. No, there's another officer here, but it doesn't have any techniques because it's using a gun. This is no try, try burst on him. Hmm. I could have swore one of these guys is doing Boulder Crush, but maybe not. Boulder Crush, I think, is like the first thing you learn, though, so it's not super expensive. He just has it. Sucks. So then they remove messages like that and ban people and stuff if needed. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been particularly shy about getting people that get on my nerves. <laughs> but it's. When it comes to spoilers, it's all about making sure you get to it before they, like, get too out of hand. I mean, that's half the reason that I got rid of song requests, too, because people were putting dumb shit in there. Or like I saw them doing it in your chat too. Really lousy. So like if you don't have like a viewership that's attentive and like looking at the list or looking at the requests when they come up, like you can play some fucked up shit. Nowadays I guess it's not really relevant anymore, right? Especially with all the DMCA fear. Most people have cut out their song requests entirely. It's just not a thing to be done anymore. Now you're both doing it? Hold on. Oh, you know what? Because they're actually learning it in real time. Fuck. I'm stupid. It took me way too long to catch on to what was happening there. <laughs> I was like, why are- why is he doing it now? But they're literally using their- their attack and learning it because they're doing it so many times in a row because it's like the bottom level version. Okay. I'm stupid. So now they're gonna start getting hurt. Thankfully these guys haven't had anything to attack, so they're not gonna be giving us trouble like that right off rip. Those two up top are gonna give Laharo a hard time though, and that's gonna be sucky. That's our fault though. Um, hmm. You know what, let's do Hogmizer first. Yeah. 
Ew. Oh, that one panel. Ugh, that sucks. Hold on. Because I think if I do it from here... Yeah, I'll catch all three of them and it won't hurt anybody else. Doink! Doesn't do a whole lot, though. That's eh, better than nothing. The fact that it quadruples the volume too on that. I was gonna say that should be his ass, and it was. Okay, good. Yes, that's the good shit. Hit this dude. Hit this dude a lot. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Not for a whole lot though. What's that counter gonna be like? Ugh. Oh, but he did it back. And they can only counter once, it looks like. You know what? I'm actually a little scared to have Mega Mean out here because these guys have guns. <laughs> Which means even if she can kill, like, this guy, um, they're just gonna shoot her to death. Can you steal their shit? Probably not, because he's so much lower level than them. Cha-ching hands, not too bad. Yeah, 11 and... 11 and 2! Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Oof! Hmm... So I don't know if he's gonna start moving. Harl's in trouble. <laughs> Harl needs to run away. Right, the scary thing is that he's gonna counter, and they they might counter back. a good spot for that? Yeah, actually. Spinning Slash. And then Tri Burst. Unfortunately, he's in an awkward spot. Like, she can do an Asagi drop or like a one of these. Which one's cheaper? Asagi drop's cheaper. Ah, yeah, we'll just do that then.
Yeah, so the shitty thing is that him running this way means he's gonna run, run into this guy. He hasn't moved yet. Oh, she learned Tiger Charge at some point. Gotta be honest, thought I had more healing stuff. I didn't realize that until I had the Harlan to run over here. Okay. Can I reach from there? He can. I might have a height issue though. Actually, no. Wow. Okay. Well, it's only one! <laughs> What's going on right now? It's trying to sleep. Four drunk ass hoes are blasting music in their cars and dancing in the street. Called the cops, they came. Till 5 0 were out of sight and then blasted it again. Oof. Yeah, this, this week is gonna suck. Cause, like,. Once we hit July, that span of time until the 4th is just gonna be nothing but like fireworks and shit going off too. You know people are gonna go ham planet for a hot minute just because of them being cooped up all, all this time. Not that that's an excuse, but they'll use anything. Not the pretty ones, yeah. Birthday. Birthday costs were called? Oh my god. Okay, so let's take care of those two. This asshole is actually on the move, though. And unfortunately, he might get... He might get Jennifer. If he doesn't get Jennifer, he might get Wednesday, her on Thursday. Thursday, move! Get out of there, dude! Actually, ah, that's stupid. I should have put her on the panel and just let her sit there. That would have covered more. Oh well. So that dude survived! Which is not great. Oh boy. Here he comes. Oh, and they're comboing. No! That dude just died on a counter. Damn. For this on your PS3. 
or PS2. Yeah. I I played this on PS2, but I don't I don't really have any of that stuff anymore. I ended up giving it to my cousins and stuff when they moved into their new place. Cause they didn't really have anything to like play or do anything for a hot minute. Dude, closer? Ah, the to Soggy drop. Actually, I could have did that in printing rate at the same time. Oops. Is that actually a thing? I forget if Planera is actually as a character is based on something. I think she is. That's interesting though. Predates it. Okay. I know this. Um, this guy in particular has a lot of like just in like in references for Atlas in general. So like that's not too crazy. Okay, these guys healed up. I want Laharl to at least be able to meet with them, and then we can just move up on those guys that didn't follow.
He might not make it though. Ugh, live, dude. Cosmic Arrow will catch him at least. These guys rolled out. He should be doing alright. Next turn we'll get him another heal and then he can move back in and do his thing. Nice. Okay. That dude is handled. Like a truck or something really close. Hmm. Wow, he's not even moving now. Okay. So we got two gunners and one polearm dude. Or one axe user. Those are the only ones that are left. It's an interesting perch for her though. Height problem. Man, okay. You might as well just sit there then.
Okay. Oh. I say he should move, but he's got a gun. He doesn't really have to do much. Just chill there. That's a bad spot for him to be, too. Hmm. Kinda want you. Here. There we go. Dunk on this dude for a minute. Finish. Pretty close. There you go. You feel like a blue or aggressively like a raid? I mean, I play it like a blue just because that's what I'm used to. But you can definitely play it aggressively because it still has it still has that melee. Um, not to mention you got to remember that that rail cannon can actually pierce too. So, like for example, if you're on um, port base, you know people are trying to cram into sea and shit. Uh, depending on what's in there, you can just m nail several people and then just cut them all up. Is, there's some neat situations in like tighter corridors where that comes in handy. It's interesting because in that match we were um, the the other raid on the enemy team was actually the Night Seeker too. I don't know. I think only the second time we've seen it in the wild during our streams, so we were able to beat it rival-wise, which felt pretty good. I do really want that that um that suit though, because it can. I think it can use the two-barrel beam beam gun, and on top of that, it has the submachine guns as a um, as a sub weapon. So you just get those for free. Yeah, I can use because the what it was using at the time was the strip the stripped beam gun or the stripped beam rifle. But I'm pretty sure we were looking at it before, and it can use this the uh, two barrel. If it can, then holy shit! If That sounds- that just sounds really fun. There's like a lot of burst damage on that, and then you just mow them down with the sub- sub guns or a good swing. Cause it's got the maneuverability. Like, for sure. Oh, she doesn't have any like- uh-oh. I think- Wind cutter, yeah, right at the edge. Yeah, I mean it's interesting because at this point the light armor is at played at such a low cost that it's not really a it doesn't feel as important for it to be unique for that anymore. It's weird that the only other suit that gets the rocket is another like low cost raid. Although I think specifically the two is based off the light armor anyway, so I guess in that case it makes sense, but still. Meh. I'd rather other stuff be able to, to run it at this point. It would be nice.
You can hit that for here, yeah. Really? You know what, just in case. <laughs> Just in case we're gonna go Giga. There. Now oh, he's definitely dead. some range on those mega heals now. <laughs> okay, this should do it. Hopefully this does it. They didn't do it! Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that did it. And an aura belt. Hmm. I will say these levels are taking a hot minute in some cases. Ooh. Defense minus 40? Ugh. There's only one inhabitant in it, too. That's not even like affecting that. It's just naturally there. Which means it'll probably scale with it too. But why is she wearing a bikini? I don't know. It's just some space bikini bullshit. See, just take an eternity. The crazy thing is that the reason that these take long is because they have those panel contrivances on some of the levels or like certain enemies or unit situations are in the way in in crossways and SRW it feels like those are made that way without any extra like challenges like even if you don't do the um the trigger events it still takes a long ass time to get through some of those like, could you imagine if this game had stuff like that? Like, if you met certain, um, criteria in the middle of a fucking map that shit just went down or more units showed up? Like, oof. 
at least in the first game, that hasn't happened yet. I don't know if maybe it happens later, or if it happens in, in uh, newer, more recent Disgaea games. But I'd, I'd flip my shit if that was the case. Oh my god. I usually don't worry about, like, some of the extra meta. Maybe as much as I should when we're just trying to get through these scenarios. I usually just save that for when I'm messing with this off stream, doing, like, item world shit or whatever. Cause this game takes a hot minute even without delving into all that on stream. I mean, at this point, he should be. He's officially Overlord. But that's just demon shit, I guess. This Jennifer has been really depressed lately. I wonder whose fault that is. Don't look at me like that. You should apologize. Y yeah. Um, Jennifer? It's all my fault. What? I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I knew what was happening, but I kept denying it. If only... if only I was stronger. What do you mean, Jennifer? What are you talking about? Well done, Overlord. I thought I'd completely masked my presence. You too. Getting this close without me noticing. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. My purpose was to settle things with Gordon, but now you've caught my attention. <laughs> and what have you got in mind? <laughs> you ask the obvious. Mono a mano. We shall speak with our fists. Okay. Last time? More of these guys too. No panels on this one. This is just straight up gonna be a slugfest. Okay. What do you got on you? Well, he's a monster. He's actually a creature. So he's not using fist weapons, he's just using monster mitts. And he's got a shit ton of meta bullshit on him. Hero cape, gritty vest, and steel belt. 800 plus attack. I don't even want to know how big of a range nuclear fusion has. Or any of those. That sounds shitty. Look how much fucking health he's got too. These guys aren't too far behind either. 751 on average for the officers. And the recruits are in the 500s for attack. And some of them are packing guns.
Those gunners are all pretty far back though, so besides maybe this guy, none of them are really gonna move up on us. Uh hmm. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's see what we can do here. This might be something that we have to come back to, depending on how tough this is. Because they all moved at once, too. They're not taking their time with this at all. And I think once we either get close enough or kill enough of these guys, he's gonna start moving, too. He might even move next turn. For all I fucking know. Wow, they are not pairing up for any of this. Fuck. Well, that gets rid of them. And that's one out of a good amount of them. <laughs> the bigger mess immediately is gonna be how hard these guys hit. Thankfully the officers are gonna take a sec to get here. But they're already on the move. And actually, the gunner officers have some techniques this time too, it's not just the axe guys.
Marmalade! I don't know if this is going to kill any of them, but now we're going to move it closer at least. Okay. Let's see what we get here. That's rough. Mega Bean's gonna die. Uh oh. Get up. and range should do some shit, and I don't like that. Also, that pretty much killed Madeiras. Fuck. And there goes Thursday. Man. Okay. Okay. 
Is the one down. I'm about to move her to the side. Fuck. Yeah, here they go. Oh, they're gonna get both of them. Oh god, Etna. Oof, and they kill Planair too. That sucks! Ugh. Oh damn, that actually killed him. That's a little awkward. I probably should have did that first. She might die the next turn then. Oof. the fuck? Oh, she's dead. Boop. 
Dude. How much health does he have? 44. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't see his health? Jesus. 9.39, okay. He still has a lot of health. Yeah, he's gonna be our damage sponge for some of this going forward. Unfortunately, I think her and Gordon are gonna die this turn. Oh boy! Oh, oh! Also killed one of his friends though, so that works. Problem though, we can't dispatch anyone else. Uh, that is not super great. It's always down to the wire like this. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't grind enough. I just hope we can pull this off. It would suck if we spent all this time and then we couldn't get in there. The problem is, is that this dude still has plenty of health left. Oh my god. Oh god, Laharl! Gonna scoot on over here. Ah, 
fuck? And he's paralyzed, Jesus. Oh, that counted as his fucking goddammit. Oh, proximal shot that might kill him. Really, really close. God damn. So of course the problem right now is that we're in a bit of a healing loop too, because we don't have anyone else to like heal them in the meantime. He's running out of SP. This asshole's running out of time. My god, that might be GG's. Because he critted on that neutral attack. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we might lose this. Because he's hitting for a lot on each of those. This might kill him too. He doesn't have defense like um, Harl does. Is he gonna counter counter? Yeah, that's bad. That's an issue. In and of itself. That doesn't do a lot either. Yeah, we're- we lost. This is- this is not gonna happen. Huh. 
Yeah, we might have had a chance if we still had Laharl, but as it stood, that was gonna take way too long. That leaves us in a predicament. One that I'm not sure we can solve right out of the gate. Hmm. How much stuff does this have on it? Oh. A little bit of health, and the defense, and speed is probably more important. Five oh two, but it also brings his defense down pretty low. I think Mach Punch is actually the strongest thing we got fist-wise. Oh no, Magic Cuff we got. Wait, I'm stupid. No, yeah. That's stronger. Hmm. I guess the other thing to consider is just putting stuff on these guys. From our other guys that we're not using in the moment. Because the cutoff level wise, besides our healers, is pretty much at Madeiras. Two hit. And what does he get? Eighty two. Actually, yeah, why do you have that then? Not that he uses it a whole lot either. It's got on Ashi.
speed hit. How does it give him SP though? Doesn't affect it too much. It doesn't really boost his stuff either. Ice Tower Towers GVO2, oh my god, dude. Yeah, that sounds like it'll do it. Sounds like it'll do it. Oof. Yeah, that can definitely be tiring. I know when to bring at 400. Yeah. Well, at least you got something out of it. I want to see if we can get them to agree on this. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, barely. By like a margin. Yeah, I guess like over time. Putting all that attentive energy towards support, you know, you're just able to react pretty well with that and pad that output still as a raid or support. Hmm. Fifty-three. Gordon's able to hang in there for a hot minute, but he is also like one of our like weaker links. I'm trying to boost him up a little bit. Nice. Yeah, GM Cannon 2 can definitely pull it off. I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make. Probably not much of one. 
I don't know if we got a different sword in here. Nah, kind of limited. I had to like try to get more expensive stuff in there. Well, you've hit a bit of a wall, unfortunately. Also, fuck, I forgot to skip Jennifer this. I wonder whose fault. Th Don't look at. I forgot to skip it. I forgot to skip it. Um, it's all my. What? I could have stopped. I knew what was happening. If only. What do you mean? Who's there? Well done, Overlord. I. You do. Getting. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. <laughs> and what? <laughs> Mono, um. Wait, I didn't think that was up yet. In terms of the um, guaranteed crates, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, all that other extra stuff for the, um, repair crates and all that is gonna be relevant next month. And then, like, really, you're on- for the new, um, repair stuff, you're just opening up that slot so that you can then, uh, actually buy the upgrade later, which kinda sucks. So it's a little limited. Just one dude, huh? Not wanna die, okay. There we go, okay. 
The rest of them are gonna move in next. It was your game. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you're still playing something right now? Okay. I think it's Slayer. Ooh, actually has enough room. Eh, ah, okay. I just need you to move up one. Or Winged Slayer, I should say. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some grindage or something on this game if I pull this scenario off. If we can't do it this time around, we'll probably just call it for tonight and come back later. And otherwise, we're just spending too much time on this. Three just refuse to die. Okay. Wow, you actually got that. Mega mean, get the fuck out of here. Get over there. He's still gonna try to reach her though.
Oh, Madaris. He might be dead. Oh, she's definitely dead. Fucking A. Go. These guys just have so much defense too, it's the other rough thing. We don't have any very um, high level thieves to take their stuff and mess with their meta. That would have been the better route in a lot of these cases. Shit, he's gonna shoot Megamine. Up, uh, she's dead. God damn it. Mendera's is also gone. Gotta keep him fed. One more down.
Oh, his, um... Hogmizer has really high damaging attacks, but his SP pool is really low. So every once in a while I'll be like, oh, I can just follow up with a Darkness Slash, and then it'll be like, nope, you don't have enough. But that has the most coverage between his attacks. So I had to go send someone else over to, like, feed him an SP up, essentially. Which means that uses up the other person's, um, action, which sucks. The other thing is that this guy kinda got left to his own devices a bit, and, uh, it's not great. It's crazy that he gets hit for so much damage, even though he has that much defense. Like, literally all of his stuff is geared towards his defense, and I could probably give him better stuff, but like, fuck, dude. When these guys are hitting, especially the... Especially the gunners, because they're hit... This guy in particular, as an officer, he's got a crosshair scope, he has a thousand plus hit on him. In fact, I kind of wonder who he's going to try to hit right now. Because, like, the boss is dangerous, but he's just going to pick off anyone who's low. He might kill Hogmizer, even. Planera's dead. Uh, no, yeah, she's dead. He's going to hit her instead. Shit. Damn. Uh, the problem is, is that with that gunner around, I can't bring out a healer even if I put some, one of these guys back in the box because he'll just kill them the next turn after they do their action. Let's see what these guys do. Eat ah! Oh my god, Gordon! <laughs> Jesus! Uh oh. Proximal shot. Oh, he's in range. Shit. Gordon, you're gonna have to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> Cause, uh. Can't really risk losing Maharl right now. Alright, get the fuck out of here. This asshole needs to go, though. It 
between the two, he's the bigger issue. Can you lift him from here? At least it's not as expensive. How much health does he have? 282. He only has 375. He has like an LSP though. Defense negated too much of it. All right, let's see what they do. Okay, so he killed Gordon. Oh, he's asleep though. Uh oh. <laughs> Yet. Okay, so here's an interesting dilemma. If I wake him up, can he actually move? Yeah, get back in there. <laughs> you don't need to be there no more. That is entirely fine. Because I think we can kill him right now. And then from here, we just need to bully the shit out of this guy. In fact, you might as well. You might as well come in closer and give him something. So that he can do his shit next turn. <sighs> oh boy. Who's that gonna be? It was gonna be on everybody! Nope, just two people. Not that that's great either, but Etna got away with it. Can you do Hurricane Slash from here? No. Chance I need to figure out. A spot to do Overlord's Wrath. I could do Blazing Knuckle as well. Dump on this dude. In fact, I could have did darkness raid since he was going to be further away. Like 
605. 15, 19 he's got left. Ugh. He's still got a good amount of SP too. What's he gonna do next? Oh my god! That might kill one of them. Uh, 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 uh. Woo! They survived. Okay, good. Hey, you know what? You're gonna give him another uh, SP up yourself, and then so if I can get some winged slayers on this asshole, um, that'll make this a little bit easier. Are you doing darkness blade? I was gonna say, let me make sure you are. Okay. How much can you move? Oh boy. A lot. And he still has a good amount of his SP as well. I want to heal them. But... I feel like if I put her here, she's gonna fucking die next turn. <laughs> uh. But if these two can stay up, like, well, Harl can probably uh, survive a couple more attacks. These two, not so much. Yeah, here he comes. He wants to try to get her. Although he's gonna blow that specifically on her. To do it. Interesting. And she survived! Wow! What? Damn, dude. That resistance coming in handy, I guess. Yeah, what's his int? His int's 285. Okay. Eh, okay. That's why they survived that. Well, I actually don't know why you did, other than just having a shit ton of health. I guess that's just the bigger thing for him. Slayer again? Yeah, you can. If he does it again, he's at 532. Oh my god. Alright. Oh shit, he's gonna counter though. Ugh. Okay. He's asleep! <laughs> shit. Can you reach him with S bar? From here. Yeah. Okay. Hi. And actually, I'm gonna back you up. Get you in here.
Alright, fuck this dude. Please let this be it. Oh my god! <laughs> we in there! Oh! New eyewear too, hell yeah! Bloody Mary? What the fuck? Hm. Not bad. What's wrong? Why are you holding back? Uh oh. I'm ready to get serious, but I don't want to injure the VIP. Why do I have a feeling? Uh oh. What? Who's he talking about? That's not good. What a weird assumption. Where'd you get that idea? What the? Why is the ground shaking? That's super robot. The space battleship Gargantua. Yeah. Uh. Yo, look at this thing. We will now begin a full-scale attack with over two million battleships. Just stole his rival, yeah. Just yoinked him out from under him. But before that... Ah! Oh. Snatched a Jennifer. Your father awaits you, Jennifer. Come with me. Father? I thought her parents passed away when she was a child. What? You didn't know? She is General Carter's foster child. Yeah. What? So that's what she meant. She knew the whole I'm time. Sorry, Gordon. What Curtis said is true. I was adopted by General Carter and raised as his child. He was a kind man. I always believed that he loved me. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. He raised me only so he could use me. If you're going to complain about your father, tell him yourself. My orders are simply to bring you back alive. He wants to use me again? It doesn't matter anymore. Wait! Jennifer, don't go! You're the assistant of Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, remember? Have you forgotten our sworn duty? Um, didn't you dismiss her? Shut up. Don't dig up the past. I retracted that. <laughs> Did you now? Jennifer, it doesn't matter if you're Carter's daughter or not. As the assistant to the Defender of Earth, listen to your heart. What is right? What do you believe in? And what will you do right now? Gordon. Enough talk. Gordon, Overlord, I'd like to settle this once and for all. If you want Jennifer back, then find a way aboard the Gargantua. Until then, see ya. That <laughs> we <laughs> just Jennifer! flies off with her. <laughs> Jennifer! To be continued. So are we just gonna view without Jennifer for a hot minute? Damn. Okay. So yeah, that was just part one. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. Well, then you thought very wrong. Nor did I. This may hinder our plan. That's the first time we've heard his voice. Yes, indeed. What is troubling you? Is there something else? I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Someone must be pulling the strings. Do you have an idea of who it might be? I think so, but I cannot be certain. I see. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. <laughs> that is of little concern. 
compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2. Damn it, pesky humans. <laughs> what do they want with the Netherworld, I wonder? Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back. How'd it go, Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work. Now we can board the ship directly. But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. Damn. Well, it seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. Oh. Well, that works. Jennifer did? Then, did she expect this to happen? I guess so, but she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. That's probably why she never told me about it. Hey, how long are you planning on sitting around? We can't just let the humans have their way. Let's go! I shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord! Yeah! We'll show them! That's right! I'm overwhelmed with hero spirit! I'll save Jennifer no matter what! <laughs> this is getting interesting. Well, that's another chapter down. Oh my god, I'm going to save. What? <laughs> Let's check these guys. This is a historic event! The castle has never been attacked by humans before! Um, shouldn't she be a little more worried? Yeah, don't sweat it. From my experience, things always work out one way or another. I mean, he's also level 339 with a shit ton of health on us be like, Jesus. An armada of two million ships. The netherworld's doomed. <laughs> ah, that's so true. You two over there, could you take things more seriously? I want a plastic model of that battleship. Me too. Duh. Modern science, they call it? I was completely astonished. Hmm. I never thought humans would try to invade the netherworld. I'm quite impressed. I agree. But they went a little too far. I'll show them what happens when you pick a fight with demons. Homeboy still doesn't like that breeze. It's our little Zambi friend. Had to say here. Boy, this story is taking some unexpected twists. Hey, everyone, you following this? <laughs> yeah, it definitely does seem pretty ridiculous. But, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. We've almost been here for seven hours. Lad and Merson.